I want you to think about a boutique. Because God says you shall beautify other women. Beauty rests on you. And I just see on the side as a stream of income. A nice boutique, not just for church to show women how to be elegant. They can be elegant and still be pretty. They, 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 they got it going on. <laughs> but even in that, there's a story that you must tell. You hear it long enough. And it causes, it, it, it opens wounds. It opens that it's like a dark place you went through. I hear about nine or twelve years ago within that time period. It was a dark season in your life. But that's your story. And you know how to sweep things under the rug and keep going. But well, God says, tell your story. Because oftentimes it comes and it hunts you. And you're going to what we call deep depression. But well, God says, tell your story. It's going to cause somebody else to live. You never thought in a million years that would have happened to you, but it did. Tell about it. And as you see, healing is going to come. Says the Spirit. Get ready. Get ready. Because you're going to write about it too. You're going to write about it. God's been waking you up at around about 3 o'clock in the morning. Because this is. I don't know if this is what you do, but this ain't all you're supposed to be doing. It's just something you like to do. But there's a work in the house of God. And he was like, Lord, what am I to do? What, what, what's my God? Where I belong? Where my feet at? Where? God says, I've been waking up to tell you. Next time you get up, say, Lord, speak your servant here. It's like seven. Sometimes you talk and it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. You help people and you don't even know God is using you. God says, tell you, you're telling me mm -hmm. to be used of him. That's why you like peculiar stuff. God bless you. I can't help but see the camera later. Lift the hands of the Lord. You, the Lord, when I said earlier, when I said earlier, I mean, she's fine. We're fine. This is just life. I'm just walking a little light. I'm just, I'm just dating people right now. Are you with me? The, the Lord say that as I stay over, over here, the Lord, I just heard the word sackcloth and ash. Uh, what has been grief? What you have been crying over? What have been a grief? In your life, the spirit of grief is being pushed back to the Lord. And he's about to anoint you the oil, the joy, instead of heaviness. I know you're faithful. The Lord says she's faithful. And you have pressed through some difficult times. But I see the Lord removing the stone. And he's removing the sackcloth and ashes from you. I declare there's a 21 day window for you. That God says your enemies will be your pursuit. And y'all not saying nothing in this place all the time. Come on, your enemies will be your first two. And I think like, oh my God, I don't know you, but I sense your spirit. Come on, grief and crying and, and, and petitioning God about some things. Come on, I'm going to grab God. Sometimes last month, the Lord says, even in the... Ah! the Lord says, he has to recover something. Somebody give a glory to that.
evangelical one that the Lord, what he showed me is that there has been an explosion in you. But now there's, this explosion in you is about to come out of you. So much as it relates to the evangelistic that you have not yet been able to tap into, that you have not been able to experience. But Father says to me that he's about to create doors and relationships. You are truly called to do the work of the evangelist. Yes. You're truly called. Uh, I saw you like uh, touch, touch, touch the hands of, of pastorate, and I don't know how far that goes, but it seems like at one time you were attached to a pastor. Uh, but that, that residue is on you. I would, I would even go so far to say your husband, uh, 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 but that, that residue uh, was on you, the pastoral. But the Lord has shifted you into the evangelistic. You know, there's some things that I, I don't say that I, I, I would desire to say, but I wish some kind of way you would connect to me. I really do. Because there is a pastoral oil on you. And, and the Lord tells me that through these next two years of development, you will pastor. You will pastor, but but you need you need the right guidance because you have you have gifted. You, the spirit of evangelism is on you, and, and, and the next two years will be a place of evangelism to prepare you for pastoring. But you need the proper undergirding. You need the proper undergirding because whether you are prepared or not, you're going to be forced into the pastoring. It's coming. I, I just I, I can see this plainly. Um, I can see this plainly, and I, I, I want to go far enough to say that the pastoral was on your spouse, uh, and that that oil has not left you. My God, that oil has not Jesus. left you, and and you're weighing the balance. It's like almost now you're trying to find out what are you gonna do with your life again. Ooh. It's like you're searching. Mm. You know, am I to do this or am I to do that? And these are the things you've said to God, yes. Lord. Do yes. I do I try to start a church again? Or do I just evangelize? What is my purpose? What is my place? The Lord says He answers you clearly. The Father says that He has called you to the pastorate. He has called you to the pastorate, uh, but there are some things you you will develop. Through the evangelistic. Now, I don't see you by yourself. Mm. I'm just going to be honest with you. Mm. I, I do not see you by yourself. I do not uh, for the stability because there is a level of anointing for you that relates to marriage. Mm. Right? So the Lord, the Lord has to fulfill every aspect of your physical being because you have an anointing for marriage. Mm. But, but in this season. The Lord's going to anoint you to deal with those who grieve. Mm. He's going to anoint you to deal with because there are single women who are left to pastor the churches because their husbands passed. There are single men who have been left to do ministry because their wives passed. And the Lord's giving you an anointing for that. Uh, he's giving you an anointing for that. And it's going to manifest. Uh, uh, with the next three months, you'll see things manifesting in you. I would say to you that listen to the voice of Father. And, and it's crazy. This ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about. But I keep seeing this vehicle that the Lord's really just getting ready to explode. Just getting ready to bless you with. Uh, and it's, it's going to happen suddenly. You know, I can stretch your faith. I can stretch your expectations. Because I can put the Benz emblem on the front of the vehicle. Uh, I can look at the color black. I can see the color black. I can see the leather. The Lord says he's favoring you as it relates to this. And he's about to re-establish, reorder your life. He says, do the work of the evangelist. The pastorate is coming. Jesus. He says he's not healing you. You are healed. Oh, he says, you just have to choose that you will no longer carry the weight. Right? This is hard. But he told me to tell you, let it go. Just release it. Wake up in the morning, and I, I got to be direct with you. Wake up in the morning and realize that you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Because that's the only way he will be able to usher something new into your life. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Be open for what he's trying to do in your life. Be receptive, because he's going to bless you. Right? Jesus. I'll be ready to offer you. Man, God, you stand up for me. Jesus.